Hello everybody and welcome back to Spyro. Oh shit, I just never mind. <laughs> I remember in the last episode, I think I said, "What do you think of the Sonic series?" I might have said that at the end. So now I feel like a real idiot. But never mind that. So this is Spyro, not Sonic. So uh but today we're getting into the town square. See what we could do it here. See what kind of magic we can work in here with our dragon powers. See if we can, like we're gonna 100% this zone. We're gonna find everything, do everything. But everything's been pretty easy so far. There hasn't been too many like automatic death zones. Hoping to see a couple more of them. I think there are some in this one. And a couple harder enemies too, I think. Niles. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Oh. Apparently you can move the camera. Oh, for fuck's sake. Apparently you can move the camera. Well, we're gonna go down here and get the gem first. There are the gems. Plural. You can like dash in your glide by hitting square if you were having to play this game as as well I'm assuming the bulls you can't ram the rams that you can ram for some odd reason but those ones I feel like you'll, you're fucked if you try to ram them cuz I mean they have those big ass horns on the top of their head so I mean there's not much you're gonna do about it this this you can't oh Ah, that's how you do it. It's like a... Yeah, you have to blow the, the gem up, and then once the, it's in the air, you gotta grab it. I don't think I ever figured that out as a kid. I probably did, but not me figuring it out, my brother figuring it out. <laughs> Apparently I was a stupid kid. I can hear a dude over here. Let's grab the old Devlin. Clark Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? I'm glad that they they kind of did the tutorial in this matter. Or so like So like they Okay, let's get away from this guy. Okay, well we just got hit by him. Speaking of never dying yet, this is probably a good point to die. So let's crack these open, and now let's look for a dang chicken. Oh, perfect. As I requested one, I received one. Now let's get the hell away from the bull before he can damage us. So. Fire. Fire. Break open some uh, chests while we are just moving around here, trying not to get hit by the bulls. Okay, and we immediately get hit by it. Well, our fire has a decent range on it, actually. Look there's butterflies hanging out here, killing all the chickens. Alva. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. So he's in the prime shape of his life. I love the names of the, the dragons, though. They have such good names. Like, they're, they're very unique, and they're just everything you could ever want out of a dragon name. <laughs> um, how do we get up there? If we can get up here, where does this take us? Hmm. We can't get up there from here. Maybe there's like a way to glide over. Oh, that's where we have to go. So, because there's always like these tricky glides to get further in the game. I, I kind of remember that much at least. Oh, I fucked it up again. Got to cut the corner pretty, pretty tight. I'm hoping to get to the boss of this, of the overworld in this, like finish this part. And then get to the boss kind of in the next one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the boss in the next one and see where that takes us. 
We got ourselves another dragon egg. Let's go back and uh, grab any gems that we may have missed. Okay, let's not run ourselves off the edge. There we go. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, this game really bring, bring back, brings back memories. It's really good for being like a PlayStation 1 game. I feel like it's a really good game. It holds up too. Like I was expecting to come in here to play it and be like, "Oh, I have to. I'm gonna start this series and I'm gonna sorely regret it after because this thing is gonna just be a pile of shit." But surprisingly, it's actually pretty good. I'm enjoying it. So get away from the bull. Let the bull ram this thing. Oh no, that's his. I remember how to get into this one. I remember now. You run up to it and you're like, oh, bam, but you have to just spin up the, the fan and make it explode. Now we have Thor. Thank you for releasing me. Thor, uh, Thor's a really weird dragon, I feel. That sounds... Yes, we got everything. Thor seems like a really weird dragon, just because of the fact that he's... It's like Thor, and you think of Thor, you think of a god of thunder. You think almighty oh, powerful warrior, but it turns out that Thor is just a uh, paper bitch. He's just like, thank you for releasing me. Oh, I'm so grateful. And he has like this weird high pitched voice. It's like, okay, I understand that maybe you were a part of the development team. We get somebody with a man voice to say Thor. Thor's line, thank you. Like just like a, a nice deep thundering voice or something. So, we're gonna go fight the boss, apparently in this episode, because that was a quick, uh, quick level. Why did I think- I thought this game took forever. Apparently not. I might get this done faster than I thought. Toasty! We're confronting Toasty. I'm assuming Toasty will be a... dragon? I- I truly have no idea. Let's grab our little gem friends back here. What is the, uh... So one dragon and like, like a couple gems. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Is that like a hippo? I, d I can't tell what that is. All I know is I don't want to hit it. Maybe ramming it'll kill it. Wrong way. Okay, we just gotta fire it twice. So I was scared to hit it again, because I'm like, oh, well, he did fuck me up after I fired him. So those guys will be a bit of more pain in the ass than the other ones. Okay, sit back down, please. Yeah, get away from him. Get away. Get away. Okay. We're still looking for a damn chicken. we got to kill those guys to get gems, so we, we, we have to kill them. Where, oh, where would a chicken be? Probably in the next area. Okay, well they come hard and heavy. Or he Is that the way you'd say that? Hard and heavy? That sounds really dirty. Okay, no, no, we screwed that one up. Next cycle. No, no, no. There we go. Let's get in this one's face. There we go. Fuck, those guys are a little scary. They're pretty strong. Oh, the music's coming in strong here. Um... I would love a fucking chicken, but it doesn't appear as though we're gonna get one. Let's just uh, work on these guys one at a time here. Run away. Oh, we fucking missed him. I don't understand why the music is coming in so loud here. Maybe it's because it's like a boss level, so it's supposed to be epic. I suppose. Run away. I like the... I like coming at these guys in like a rotation there, just because it seems like that's the best way to do it. Just so we don't, because they pounce, and then we don't get pounced on. Okay, yeah. One more swipe in here, got him. Got taken care of the wizard. Which just seems like more of a sheep keeper, like a, a, a herdsman. He just has a, a staff, and he'll whop you on the top of the head with it. Oh, that must be toasty. 
nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. <laughs> I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Oh, well, I kind of figured as much, but uh, there was an area back here. Right here. I don't know what's back here, but I'd like to go back here and check. Oh, fuck off. Okay, well, apparently we can get hit more than I thought. Now we don't have our bug anymore. I thought it was just... Oh, we're done. Well, we get our bug back, though. At full bug health. What's down here? Bunch of death, I believe. We should probably check... The peek the corner next time. Okay, well... That wasn't any good. Run away. So we can get hit more times than I actually thought, but at the same time, we still can't get hit that many times. Okay, so there's nothing down there. There's no secrets of any kind, sadly. We've gotten taken one hit. We can get hit one more time. Twice, actually. Because he turns green, and then he'll turn, uh... After he's done turning green, he'll turn... Gone. He'll die after that. Okay. So this is the guy we have to fight. So I guess we just fire him and then he, he runs to the next phase. It'd be awesome if they put the wall behind you. That would make it a little more difficult, I believe. Okay. Okay, we'll come and toast him. Ah, one of his mis most mischievous sheeps. <laughs> so he's just a sheep, apparently. Run away. And we've taken care of his, his hench dogs. And now let's take care of his last hench dog here. Jaguar type thing. And see you later, sheep. Thanks for the gems. So we need that many more gems. And home we go. I forgot. I forgot what toast who Toasty was. And as soon as I I was like, oh a scarecrow. Fuck, what what? And as soon as like I saw his kinda his stilt show, I was like, ah it's just an old sheep. One of his most mischievous sheep. So I believe we have all these areas covered actually. Except for the water one. I don't know how to get to the water one. Because I know there's a portal over there. Because he can hear it. When you come over here. Right? Like, you can hear the portal. How do you get to it? Because you can hear that one over there. When you come over here... There. Okay, well, let's just land in that. That's okay. Yeah, no, no, it's not there. I really have no idea. Let's go to the balloon man, I guess. We'll go to the next, uh, next area. We did die once. First death. Got that out of the way. Let's come over to the balloon man here. Anything behind us? There shouldn't be any gems, that's for sure. Marco the Balloonist! Wow, I see you've been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper world if you'd like. Well, I guess I'll go to the Peacekeepers. Dun, 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 dun. Away we go. I remember there being harder levels. And I can't... They're like flying levels? And those kind of are a bit of a pain in the ass. I know that. We'll see what we got in here. Oh, oh, oh don't run off the damn wall. Oh, the wall, the dock. Hello, Titan. You got the great name. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We cover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Well, it tells us to collect the treasure. I don't know. Still hasn't told us if it's important to get or if we need to get it. Like, what the point of getting it is. But we're going to get it. Okay, Cannon Man. Fuck off. I believe they're just shooting cannons at each other for some reason. Come here, cannon man. Thank you. 
I'm probably just gonna wander around the the top level here for the next I don't know two or three minutes till we gather most of it. Just because uh, we're gonna do have to have, do it eventually. And that those guys are kind of annoying when they go in there. I believe they eventually come out, or do we have to smoke them out? Yeah, we do. Then he shows us his underwear, which is which is quite comical, especially for when the game came out out in like 1910. Oh, nope! Don't jump in that. I'm trying to figure out what it was, and I found out it's a death lump. Why it's there, I'll never know. Just for the fun, I guess. Yeah, take it, boy. Oh, show us your can. Get burnt. One more. Get burnt. Yes, I can finally know how to do that. <laughs> I feel like that was just impossible for me as a kid. Getting the, the dexterity to hit square and then A, X. Because it's on the PS2. Or PS1, sorry. But I'm using an Xbox controller now, so the, the, the buttons are slightly different. Come here. Can I shoot the cannon? Ah, yes I can. And I can control it, can't I? Maybe I need to use the cannon to, to shoot something? I don't actually remember. I feel like I do. Get burnt, boy. I feel like that's that's something that you need to use it for. You need to, like shoot a wall or something. Hi, Spyro. Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. I kind of I'm curious where those hints will stop. Like they're oh shit, they're important to know in the beginning, but at the end, if like the last dragon you get and he goes Hey, make sure to give Sparks, uh, butterflies. It's like, uh, the fuck do you think I've been doing this whole time, buddy? Um, no, no secrets down there. I feel like the key for this is down in the gully there somewhere. It's somewhere down here. Because that's where I would put it. And make you glide down there to get it. Like do like a big long glide to get it because I believe there's levels eventually where you have to just like fly for the entire thing and go through hoops and shit and get all the gems that way let's grab one more butterfly come on come here there we go got it the butterflies because here where do we go from here we want to get across but that's the elevation is too high for us can't get there Not sure. Well, we can shoot the cannon. Curious what our, our gem count is at here for here. We're halfway through and there's one more uh, dragon. I'm trying to find him though. I, I can pretty much tell you where he's going to be. Right down. Oh. What? Am I lost? Right down here. This is where he's going to be. Oh shit. No he's not. That's just the way to the ice caverns. So we have a lot of routes we can go here. I'm excited about that. Oh, is there a gem back here? Gem? No gem. Sad. Okay, so there's got to be a way to get across. Because I can see a dragon over there. Hmm. How do you get across here? Do, just, do I just fucking go for it? Just running start and go for it? Nope, that's not it. I feel like gliding down here is a bad idea. Well, we lost ourselves a life. I'm, I'm going to look through that again. Because I... That's got to be a path down there. Let's go down here. Nope, no path. Why did I think there was a path down here? Maybe as a kid I fucking jumped in there a hundred times. Like an idiot? Maybe? But I'm not sure how to get over there. There's no dudes in here. No. Uh, can you get on the top of this thing? Oh, there's a path back here. 
Oh, that's another location. Um, one more guess. Back here, maybe? No, it's already started. Shooting the cannon does anything? Does not appear so. I could, like, hop from puddle to puddle, take damage, damage, and then, like, glide over. No. That does not seem to be the way to do that. We're throwing lives in the garbage. But that... Oh, well actually, can we come up here? No, we can't come up there. Well, I guess we're just going to do the levels that we have available for us. So that'll be it for today, though. So thank you for watching. And if you liked it, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking about this series. If you like it, if you hate it, what's going on in your mind. And uh, I'll see you next time.